I'm Tom, the Sports Explorer, and I'm exploring our world through sport and adventure. And in this week's video, I'm going to showcase to you some new trails on Jebel Jace and have a chat with TV adventurer Ryan Pyle at the UAE's highest public point. Come with me and don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications, like and comment as well. Jebel Jace is a wonderful place to come and explore perfect trails to follow incredible views and later in 2021 some of this area will make up the stunning 55 kilometer Highlander hike which is coming to the UAE more on that in just a moment so if you have hiked the upper gaff trail at Jebel Jace before you might have noticed you had to go on the road for a short stretch but not anymore These are the new walkways here, and they're brilliant. They basically take you over the top of the ridge so you don't have to walk along the road anymore. And it just opens up a whole new level of panoramic landscapes. That new trail along the upper ridge is really good actually. If you've not hiked Jebel Jace before or you want to do it again, then you can watch previous videos in which I give you step-by-step -step guides on how to hike the upper and the lower trails. I'll put the links to those videos in the description below. I'm racing to the UAE's highest public point because that at sunset is where I'm going to meet Ryan, host of Extreme Treks, of course, a man who has trekked thousands of miles around the world. I'll speak to him about what he thinks of the mountains here in the UAE and also some of his best hikes in the world as well. Keep watching to see that conversation. I hope he's still there when I get there. <laughs> And there we are at the UAE's highest public point on Jebel Jace. And at sunset, with the Hajar Mountains stretching out in front of you, it's magical. Well, I'm delighted to be at the highest point of the UAE uh, with the most wonderful TV adventurer, Ryan Pyle. How's everyone doing? Fancy meeting you up here. Yeah, and we got the beautiful sunset in the background. Yeah, it's an amazing time of the day uh, to be up here um, for sunset, it really is. Let's, let's yeah. show the people what we got. Yeah, have a look at this. Oh, that's perfect. There you go, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah. We're out here, uh, we're basically celebrating the launch of the upcoming Highlander hike, which is coming to the UAE for the very first time later in 20. 21. Ryan, I know you work with Highlander, it's very close to your heart. Highlander in the UAE, it just goes to prove, and I've said this a few times, the UAE is not all about five-star resorts in Dubai and Abu Dhabi. These mountains, the Hadjar Mountains, are incredible. <clears throat> Agreed, yeah, I come out uh, almost every weekend uh, now that I've been here. For so many months, I've explored all these mountains and they're absolutely stunning. Yeah. And I mean, just look at the landscape behind us. To climb them for an experienced hiker like yourself, um, how do you describe them? I think there's a huge variety of uh, trails out here. So I mean, yeah. if you're a beginner, come out, there's stuff for you. Yeah. If you're intermediate, come out. And if you're more advanced, there's definitely yeah. some treks that'll challenge you yeah. that are full body workouts with yeah. bouldering and, and everything in there. It's, uh, it's a wonderland, actually. A lot of it's like an obstacle course, so it's yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah, let's have a little walk down, the, okay. uh, down here as we celebrate Highlander uh, coming to the UAE. In terms of Highlander ride right, around the world, there's 15 hikes in existence already. Can you just tell us a little bit about the Highlander series? I like Highlander because uh, it's not about a race and it's not about adrenaline. It's just about being outside, uh, connecting with nature and really kind of de-stressing, learning a little bit more about yourself and really just enjoying time outside, which I think all of us need uh, at the moment. So I'm, I'm yeah. really positive about that. That's what my TV show Extreme Treks is all about and that's what Highlander is all about. 
and that's why you know we're collaborating in this way and uh, the UAE has a, a lot of nature and obviously some fantastic trails uh, in the UAE fit preferred spot in the UAE Oh, Ras Al Khaimah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's just a lot of variety out here. This is where the biggest mountains are. And whether you want to come to Jabal Jais and trek with other people, because it's quite a nice tourist spot, or whether you want to go off trail or, or, or find more remote trails, um, there's plenty to do. So this is definitely my, my place, my home, my well, spiritual home in the UAE. What's next on the agenda uh, for you, Ryan? Whilst you're obviously based in the UAE, travel's restricted at the moment, but what is in the diary, if anything? Uh, nothing in the diary at the moment, just trying to stay fit <laughs> and stay healthy and, uh, and trying to get outside and, and exercise and, and do my hikes. Uh, it's just as often as possible. So. Yeah, and I mean you've done so many hikes around the world obviously for the TV show and just because it's your passion as well. Whatever you around the world is the best in hiking. Yeah, um, you know we've had it, we've been very fortunate the last few years to travel everywhere and explore everything and uh, and it's just a dream come true. It's hard to pick one that you love the most. Okay. It's kind of like you know choosing which child you love the most. Although maybe that's easy for some people out there. I don't know, but uh, it's hard to pick which which trek was the best. You know, there's so many elements of these journeys that make it special. Is it the guide? Is it the nature? Yeah. Is it the particular challenge? Yeah. Uh, is it the weather? Yeah. Um, is it the logistics? You know, it's all it's all there. If but. you could put your perfect take all those scenarios you've just given me and put your perfect hike together what would it be would it be cold and snowy or would it be warm weather like this i actually to me i love the treks where you um, see the most so for me i like i like the ones where you start off at a low altitude and then work your way up to a higher altitude and you can see all the flora and fauna change at each climatic zone and it gets colder and you can see the landscape change while you're walking through yeah. it and one one of those trips that comes to mind <coughs> for me is uh, Bolivia so we actually started in the jungles of Bolivia about 500 meters above sea level and went all the way up to the top of Huayna Potosi which is about 6,000 meters above sea level amazing so we did that whole stretch in about 12 days and of course we walked through everything from rainforest to you know snow-capped Mm. Uh, summit um, glacier so it was, it was incredible love it uh, Ryan it's been a pleasure uh, walking with you hiking with you uh, yeah. today as we celebrate as I say Highlander uh, coming to the UAE later in 2021 it's just a little teaser uh, of it today where we've got to the UAE's highest point on Jebel Jace but Ryan wish you all the best on your future hikes and hopefully uh, travel in the next sort of by the end of this year we can freely travel again and um, and well coast to it at least and and we can see some more TV stuff from yourself you can get back to work <laughs> <laughs> Funny who you bump into on a mountain, isn't it? Huge thanks to Ryan for his time as we hike Jebel Jace uh, today. Let's hope we can see extreme treks on our TVs again very soon, once we can safely and freely travel once again. You know, I've heard of a lot of people coming to Jebel Jace for sunrise but sunset is a really special time to be on this mountain. What a way to end the day. Thanks for watching as I showed you some of the new trails on Jebel Jace and caught up with Ryan Pyle. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and comment as I explore our world through sport and adventure and I'll bring you more details about that Highlander UAE hike very soon. But from here, the highest public point in the UAE. See you next time.